guys. So, Eris, Josh, it is the 13th, I think. Um, and Jonathan's dance, and we went through some kind of more advanced connection stuff here. Um, starting just with a close position, talking about which foot we're on, we use right, follows left. We want to make sure we're on the same foot. So, if the follower is on the opposite foot, it's going to be confusing. So, we are just kind of making sure we're on the same foot. It's carried over to other things we did later. With the starter step, it was a tap, and then we're anchoring back with them. Okay, so it's a very natural place to start a left side pass. We did an inside roll from here. Thinking about keeping the hand and the body on the left side of the track. Then an underarm, thinking about the rotation. Follower is keeping your frame pushing forward. And then we went over a whip, adding compression. So from here, we step back and across. We offer compression coming around and anchor. And for both leaders and followers, it was important. Um, followers filling the space, just so, yeah, don't cut off. So, as the leader triples behind and across, just followers feeling your shoulders open, still trying to sink straight up down the slot. As you feel just a bit of compression here, returning that, and as the leader turns, we're going to mirror that compression, it's going to send us back into the anchor. Okay? So, kind of the more advanced version of that, we did start in an open, again with a cut off web. I'll show this from both sides, we we'll do slow. So, coming in on two leaders, pinky on the back, um, roughly around the spine so that we can roll right into close. Okay? So it's this side. And followers, just make sure again, you're keeping your frame, you're heading down slot. If my follower is not trying to push this way, this won't work. If we're just kind of floating along, it's not going to be clear and there's no connection here, right? We're stuck. So followers, making sure you're owning your slot on this side of my slot. I've got this side of my slot, I'm trying to square up pretty much every time. I'm just letting myself get into this. Um, okay. <laughs> Same width as before, but we're going to step forward on six, then out and in with double resistance. I'll cover that in a second, but first we have our inside roll to finish. Three and four with a stop on five, and then you can start again from there. So with the um, double resistance, we're staying in close, coming out of the compression width. Um, we are going to actually step forward on six as well, leaders. So this is the forward step for six. Seven is back. Followers, you're trying to find your back foot. Leader's not going to let you quite get there. So you're going to bounce forward, and the leader's going to push you back into the end. So that's your double resistance. Then from there, we have our inside wall gripping with the right hand leaders, stopping, finishing on the five. Um, something that held some leaders and followers back was kind of seeking out that distance. So just the inside wall. Followers, making sure you're getting back and finding this tension with the leader's hand, not falling off slot. Leaders, making sure you're clear with this and your weight is back too. Because if the leader comes forward on that five, it's going to be very confusing. Yeah? So, just real quick, the whole thing, I want to show it from both directions. Thank you so much guys, you did awesome.